Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 2.10, Problem 11. This is Section 2.10, Problem 11. It says put the fractions in order from smallest to largest, and we have 7 tenths, 3 fourths, and 2 fifths. Now, in order to put them in order, we really want to see them over the same denominator. It's very difficult to tell without having the same denominator. So the denominator is a 10, 4, and 5. So in a situation like this, it's not completely obvious what a good common denominator would be. I take the largest denominator, which is 10, and I start with that, and I ask myself, well, the other denominators divide into 10 evenly. They won't. 5 goes in evenly. 4 does not. So take that largest denominator and double it. It goes up to 20. Will all the denominators now divide into 20 evenly? And actually they will. 10 times 2 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 4 is 20. They will all divide into 20 evenly. So 20 is a good common denominator. So let's make all the fractions have a denominator of 20. And this way we'll be able to see which is the largest fraction, which is the smallest, which one would be in the middle. So the 7 over 10, if I made the denominator 20, I must have multiplied the 10 in the denominator times 2 to make it a 20. So the 7 in the numerator must also be multiplied times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 over 20 is the same as 7 over 10. Now, the next fraction, 3 fourths, the denominator of 4 must have been multiplied times 5 to turn it into a 20. 4 times 5 is 20. So the numerator of 3 would also be multiplied times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So now, right away, before I get to the last one, I can see that the 15 over 20 is slightly bigger than the 14 over 20. Now, the 2 fifths, what happened here? The denominator was 5. It turned into a 20. It must have been multiplied times 4. 5 times 4 makes a 20. So the numerator would also be multiplied times 4. So I'd have 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Now I have all the fractions with the same denominator, in this case 20. And my choice is uh, 14 over 20, 15 over 20, 8 over 20. I want to put the smallest one first. That's clearly 8 over 20. That fraction of 8 over 20 came from 2 fifths. So if I'm putting them in order from smallest to largest, the 2 fifths must be listed first. Now the middle fraction, I'm choosing between 14 over 20 or 15 over 20. 14 over 20 would go in the middle. That came from 7 tenths, so that would be my middle fraction. And then the last one should be the biggest, which is the 15 over 20, which came from the 3 quarters. So now the fractions in order from smallest to largest would be 2 fifths, then 7 tenths, and then 3 quarters.